Hello everyone, my name is David Edgar, I'm the host of Heart and Hand, the Rangers podcast and I'm joining you today live from a car park in Livingston just about to head home after Rangers 3-1 victory over Livingston today at the Tony Macaroni Stadium and if you'd offered me this, this time, well, in a few hours last week when I was walking out of Hamden somewhat dejected for Geo's first week I would have bitten your hands off qualification on Thursday night a victory was one thing but qualification on Thursday night was another and then a really solid away victory at one of the tougher grounds for both us and Celtic to go to they've lost there already this season um, only the one change today the manager brought in Scott Arfield for Stephen Davis and I, I like that I think having the extra attacking option in midfield means we can play with a wee bit more control and a wee bit more on the front foot and Rangers I thought were brilliant for 20 minutes absolutely fantastic and found ourselves two goals up and two peaches as well first of all lovely ball through great timed run from Scott Arfield and he just lifted the ball over the goalkeeper into the net for 1-0 it was two not long after and this was a peach Ryan Kent set up Joe Aribo on the edge of the box and he turned and curled a beauty lashed it in underside of the bar kiss they always look better those goals and at that stage you were thinking great it's a case of how many didn't quite work out like that though because Rangers again the Achilles heel there's nothing new here I've said it every week on these videos you know it if you sit and watch Rangers defensively we're not good at the moment and a simple long ball over the top Conor Goldson didn't deal with it Alan McGregor made a really good save but the rebound was put in Calvin Bassey might have been on his toes a wee bit more I've said it you know the, the, the manager will work with these guys it is a confidence issue now as well Goldson was horrendous in the first half his passing was way way off and you can just tell that it's it's something I think we're going to need big fill back we're I think we're definitely going to have to go into the market in January. It's not Callum Bassey's position, uh, Calvin Bassey's position, sorry. It's not his position, and I think we all know that Jack Simpson isn't really up to what we need. So uh, we do need reinforcements in there, and he should back Big Phil. Could have been two each, which would have been unbelievable just before half time, but another superb save by Al McGregor, who has really rolled back strongly from last week with two sensational displays. In the second half, Rangers in total control without you know getting that killer third up until the manager made a double change on came Nathan Patterson and Fashion Sakala we went 4-4-2 terrific ball in from James Tavernier there was Fashion he comes from Zambia by the way and he nods home for 3-1 I'll always take a victory here at the Spaghetti Ad I've, I've very rarely seen us play well here over the years it's one of these grounds that we, we seem to struggle in so I'm happy with that um, and as I say that's a really good solid first week for Giovanni and um, but there's a lot of tough challenges ahead we, we go to Easter Road on, on Wednesday night again never easy for us but I think that we've managed to dig in um, come back show some good signs we are beginning to look pretty decent in attacking in spells maybe not the full 90 but we are beginning to get our groove back and we've got guys you know like Aribo Sakala uh, Ken Hadji that are so talented we're always going to carry a goal threat so yeah all, all, all good I'm very very happy I'm very very pleased and now it's just a case of can we keep it going it would be a right big one if we could get it on Wednesday night against the Hibs we kind of owe them one after that last week and uh, you would hope the players will be bang up for it so until then uh, I'm going to go and try and unfreeze myself out it was snowball weather as you might have seen at the start of the second half there and uh, until then everybody have a fabulous week if you want to hear more from me go to patreon.com forward slash heart and hand a free show though will drop with you tomorrow night and we'll be going over our Rangers victory so until then take care bye bye